There are times that we, that we go through things for the sake of others. There are times that we suffer, that we suffer that things that happen to us where there's pain is really for the sake of other people. Uh, 2 Corinthians deals with this wonderful passage. Blessed be God, even the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies and the God of all comfort. I love how he begins this because he talks about being the God of all comfort. It's wonderful. Who comforteth us in all our tribulations. So we're going through tribulation. God comforts us that we may be able to comfort them which are in any trouble by the comfort wherewith we ourselves are comforted of God. Maybe it is a sin in your life, and maybe God is comforting you in that sin, that chastening, to bring about some righteousness. Or maybe that's not the case at all. Maybe the reason we go through things, certain things in our lives at times, is that God may comfort us, and then we may be able to comfort others the same way that He comforted us. For as the sufferings of Christ abound in us, so our consolation also aboundeth by Christ. Sometimes the purpose of suffering is that we can share with others that are suffering our experience. Sometimes that's what it's all about. Can you imagine that God would allow us or put us through some things that we can share ex our experience with other people? Uh, Harry Truman, he said this, he said, the reward of suffering is experience. As you go through that, as you struggle, as you suffer, as there's pain in your life, regardless if it's your fault or not, as there's suffering, sometimes the reward is experience. Now we can share with others what it is we've gone through. How marvelous. And this is not some consolation prize. This is good stuff. We can help others because we were helped of God. <laughs>